<laughs> Sitting here, eating my popcorn, watching the show. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Good day, good day, good day, everybody. Shout to everybody. Shout to everybody doing blogs in their car. Ah. A reminder, when you guys click on my videos and you see me eating popcorn in the beginning of the video, it's for a reason. It symbolizes getting away from all bad energies, all bad people, seeing things from a new perspective, eating popcorn, watching people crash and burn. Yeah. So that's what you're seeing when you see the beginning of my my videos when they come on. You guys know, you see what's going on in the internet on, on, on YouTube? <laughs> yeah. That's why it's happening to you all. Because you're not right. Man, you're not right. Man, you're not right. See? So it comes back on you. Another thing, there's a lot of fruity stuff going on in the industry right now. A lot of fruity. A lot of, a lot of fruity stuff. Nobody cares about anybody being fruity or you, 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 uh, you, 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 your decision on, on your sex preference. Nobody cares. And hey, don't be surprised when you hear it. That's the whole idea. You just be so surprised. Be surprised when you hear it. Don't be surprised. It's a lot of fruity, fruity. <laughs> you know, if I wanted to if I wanted to come on the internet and just just be like the guy with the most views, but I'm a good guy, I don't care. My interest ain't in nobody else's life. My interest never been in other people's lives and stuff like that. I worry about my own life. Okay? I worry about my own life. And sometimes I even save people. I even save them from getting trampled you know because sometimes you can say certain things and destroy people that's why I don't be into that like that and it's safe to say I don't really got to do much talking y'all see what's going on on the internet everything that I say comes to comes to pass at this point I'd be like yo if I was somebody else looking at me at this point, I'd be like, yo, I ain't messing with that dude, bro. I am not messing with that dude at all. That guy sits back before anything happens, tell you what's going to happen. Boom, you're experiencing it. You're living it. Stay away from him. Stay away from him. Don't say nothing wrong about him. He's going to do some zeroing in on your life. See everything clearly. Make a statement and boom. <laughs> You'll be riding off to the brick wall. <laughs> okay. At what 50 said? <laughs> That's why I fuck with 50, yo. That's why I fuck with 50 so hard. Left-handed cancer from Southside, nigga. Jamaica Queens here, yeah, nigga. A lot in common. Yeah, nigga. Right. That part. See, everybody's brain works a different way. You see the similarities in people, the way they brain work and your brain work, you gotta rock with them. You gotta rock with them. You gotta rock with them. Okay? That's just the way it is. These guys, there's a lot of bozos out here. A lot of people sit, you know how many, yo, you know how many people, speaking of thinking about 50 Cent and his life and everything, you know how many people swear to God they got you for years? 
Oh my God, I'm so glad. Open your eyes out there, y'all. Stop seeing stuff is is is, is 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 see stuff for what it really is, man. Stop being fooled out there. Okay? Stop looking at niggas that's failures as winners. That's what we gotta stop doing, first of all. Get ready, put your seatbelts on, go get your popcorn. This is gonna be a lot. Go get your popcorn, nigga. Yo, you can't pick and choose your battles, neither. You out here, your big tough guy on this guy, and your little pussy boy don't want to talk on this guy. It shows. It looks so, it shows so much. You guys better start talking shit. You guys on YouTube better start opening your mouth. Talking as tough to this guy as you talk to this guy. That's what you better start doing because everybody's starting to look crazy right now. You look, you, you, and once you start looking not tough, it, there's no going back for that. No going back. You better be a real killer gangster, nigga. You want to be a killer gangster? You better be a killer gangster all the way around. Go back to jail if you have to. Hmm? Go to jail. Yeah. Go to prison. If you've never been there, go to prison. If you've been there before, take your ass back. Go back. Because if you're on YouTube and you want to prove that you're a gangster, there's no way around it. You got to be ready to go back. You got to be ready to go back and do whatever you've been doing over there when you was there. Yeah, go back. But let me tell you, in this world, nobody respects no gangster unless you're ready to go back. Only people respect gangsters these days, let me tell you, is the ones that don't care about going back. Those are the only people people respect. <laughs> and that's a fact. <laughs> He said, that nigga don't give a fuck. He'll go sit in prison for years. He don't care. Leave him alone. He's a gangster. He's the real deal. If you're not willing to do that, you want to play gangster, but then stay on the fence. <laughs> if you're out here playing gangster killer, but trying to stay on the fence on the down low, <laughs> and think nobody will see you <laughs> we all know the levels of gangsterism bro everybody knows the levels if you ain't ready to pull your gun out right now and start killing everything nigga fuck everybody the police everybody go to jail nigga go to jail if you ain't ready to do that sit your ass down somewhere man cause we don't believe you that's first of all if you're not ready to do that End it all, your life in the corner. If you're not ready to do that, shut up. Okay? That's for all of you. All of you sitting around here pumping your chest and being mad acting gangster. All of y'all, go sit your asses down. If you're not ready to go back to jail, shut up. That's the caption. I'm tired of I'm tired of looking at all these gangsters every goddamn morning. Every morning I get up, I gotta look at some fake ass gangster on YouTube talking about what he'll do to somebody and everybody else is a punk and everybody else is a sissy. Nigga, sit your ass down some goddamn where boy. Go sit your ass down somewhere. This is YouTube. This ain't the how it was back in the days. People will tell you whatever they want to tell you to your face. You're going to hear the things you don't want to hear in your face, boy. Go sit your ass down some goddamn weird, nigga. What fuck you think you at? Them days is over, boy. Them days is over, boy. <laughs> that goes to whoever it fits. Yeah, this is the time you're in. This is the area you're in. 
Nobody cares. We don't believe you. You got to really do it nowadays. You got to really go do it. Be on the news. Be in front of the judge getting sentenced. Going behind the wall. Then people will say, yo, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> if you're not ready to do that, if you like your cornflakes in the morning, if you like watching TV with your kids, with your son and your daughters, or uh, you like doing all the little things you do, shut up. You're not fooling nobody. Let me tell you your face. Go sit your ass down and watch TV. Yeah. Sit your ass down and watch TV. Shut up, boy. You waste people stop that playing games on YouTube. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. You just talking to a bunch of bunch of. We seen it already. Ain't nobody really doing nothing. We seen it already. We don't believe it. Okay? So all you gangsters, all you gangsters, go sit your ass. Go sit, all you gangsters, Pac said, go sit your ass down. Yeah. Fronting on YouTube, trying to get views so you can get a check. So you can make your check bigger and pay a little bit of your little stinking bills. Get out of here. Ain't nobody balling, ain't nobody up. All the fake ones that's balling on YouTube. Like, let me tell you, there's only 2% people that really got money on YouTube. There's only about 2% people that really got some bread. Everybody else living a regular life. And don't worry about the, the, the chain you see on the nigga's neck or the car you might see a nigga or somebody drive. That shit don't mean, that shit don't bound. That's as far as it go. That's where it stops. Right there. So don't think when you get in the car and doing videos like this or somebody's looking at you and think you up. Nobody thinks you're up. Because all the real people that know you done told everybody you ain't up. So whatever people fronting on YouTube, you fronters. Anytime you see me chilling, I'm really chilling. Like I'm really chilling right now. I have no problems in my life. If y'all want to be on some personal stuff, I'm gonna drop another twenty-five thousand dollars on something. I wish it was twenty-five thousand on something that I was like was flossing with that y'all could see. Now nah, I got things I'm doing in my life that take money. See, grown men know about that. Everything ain't for seeing to get a ring on so and so. Nah, that's for the little guys. Okay, we got people spending 50, 25, 50, 100,000 dollars on things inside their life that the people won't see out there. But it's going on. Yeah. Life is beautiful. So don't let these people front on you. Because there's a lot of smoking mirrors out here, bro. The smoking mirrors are YouTube. If you're not ready to kill to the to gangsters, all the gangsters, or to all gangsters, if you're not ready to kill, sit your ass down and watch TV, boy. And that should feel good me saying that to you. If it feels bad, it's because you want to front. <laughs> if it feels bad when I said that to you, it's because you want to front. If it feel if you want to be a good person in real life, the way that a lot of people say they do then that should feel real good to you. Go sit your ass down and watch TV. Go sit your ass down and watch TV. Get out of here. Pretending on YouTube. Let's play pretend. Pretend on YouTube. It's amazing. Every word I say, I got all of YouTube saying pretending now. They on YouTube. Anything I do, here they come. Anything I do, all these niggas, I'm watching. Y'all can name all of these. You're doing something. You're taking a word I use. You just love the way you just love my style. You just love. All of you just love it. I got people copying me in so many ways, man. Damn, I mean, you niggas, all you niggas is little niggas to me. All you niggas is little niggas to me, yo. Little niggas. 
That little niggas to me, man. That little niggas, bro. And when when people do everything to copy you and do all this stuff, and they just admiring your style and your swag, that shows you that they know in their mind they little to you. That's what it is. It ain't never gonna change, nigga. It ain't never gonna change. Are y'all seeing what's going on on YouTube right now? People's lives are, yo, niggas is crashing and smashing their face at a fast rate on YouTube. They crashing out at a fast rate. Names is tarnished. They've been, they've been dwindled down, demoted. If you've been dwindled down and demoted, <laughs> Yeah, it's probably good for you. You're not doing right out there. This is why you're all crashing and burning. Everybody who's out there crash, you know you only get 15 minutes of fame, right? So anybody who's out there, they get their little 15 minutes. If you went out there and did something crazy and sold your soul, you sold your soul or you did something wild boy for it, oh my God, your 15 minutes is over. Is, you, you're gonna wish, you're gonna wish you could extend it that regular, that regular life for so much longer. Because that 15 minutes of high highlight and that darkness after, oh shit. No, 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 be careful. If you're around people and they act like they got love for you, but they don't, you might be the sacrificial lamb. Yeah, that might be the title. You, you might be the sacrificial lamb. You might be the sacrifice. You might be the sacrifice to get back doors so everybody could blow up. So they could all go get money. Everybody could be lit off your name, off your demise. And you satisfy the elites and you be, now you're a billionaire. Now you could be a millionaire finally in real life. Yeah, be careful out there, y'all. No, no one to say mayday. Abandoned ship. Remember, sometimes a person could go to jail and lose everything in there. You, you wonder why a lot of people come home from prison and get put on? Their soul is already gone. They've already sold their soul. They already sacrificed. They already did a lot. See, this is why you see. I'm, boy, I'm teaching y'all. This is why you see some people come home from prison and already get on. They already been, they already qualified. It was in prison. It was in the, the belly of the beast. It was in the devil's heart, in the devil's home. Do you understand what I'm telling you? You was already living and surviving in the devil's world. We know you qualified over here. Do you understand now? So this is why you see people come home from jail and get put on by crooked people. Because they know you're crooked already. We know you're, we know you're the same feather as us. And a lot of times they did more time in jail than the person putting them on. So they're like, yo, you want to do it more than them. Guess what? We know you down. We know you qualified. We know you gonna do the do. A lot of people go to jail and get turned out. So it's nothing to come home and do whatever industry standards that they want to. Do you understand that? What I just said again. See, when I talk to y'all and y'all pay attention to my videos, you might overall, the overall video, you might be like he was talking junk and just really blabbing his mouth and whatever you might say or feel. But when you start really listening to little seconds of things I said, like little sentences and little things, little key moments, you'll start to realize this guy is talking that talk. Mm. So pay attention. But if you got any common sense, then you'll start to realize, nah, hold up. Hold up, I know, I know authentic. 
I know authentic when I see it. You gonna hear this word on YouTube right now. I know authenticity. I know authenticity when I see it. I know somebody who's authentic when I see it. You're gonna hear this from the YouTubers. They're all on me. They're all over me right now. He ain't trade, go. He ain't trade nothing. He ain't trade nothing. He kept his and got. Yeah. Only God could do that one. Only God could give you without trading. Only God could give you without you having to trade something. Yeah. Yeah. You see, this is what I listen to. You hear that? Birds chirping. Relaxation. Quietness. Peace of mind. All that drama, all that talking, all that arguing, all that debating. You, you, none of that is allowed in my circle. None of that is allowed in my circumference. See all those feelings, all those roller coasters, emotionally roller coasters y'all be on? Or they be on, I ain't gonna say y'all, they, they be on. Yeah. You hear that? Moon the lawn. Yeah. Relaxation. Do what I want with every minute of my time. I'm the boss. There's no one higher than me. If I want to sit here till next week on this phone talking to you, I can't. Nothing changes. I'm still going to be all right. Everything is going to be still great. God is good. Hmm? Let me squeeze that in the video. Let me put some medicine in the in the in the food. You know, they put the pill in the, in the food. Let me put some of that in there for you. God is so good to me. I'm so relaxed and calm in my body, in my feelings. Are you dumb? <laughs> Pack name ain't nowhere going crazy. I ain't got a thousand niggas. Yo, look, yo. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. I wake up eat. I wake up with the birds chirping, sun in my sunlight, and I'm like, Go make some money. You know? Everything's great, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Put on your neck TV. I'm just sharing some things with y'all. On what, what you watch out. Things that I feel good about. Things I feel, you know. Be careful. Things that's going on out here. These people are not waking up happy, bro. <laughs> Yo, these people not waking up. These people waking up. As soon as they wake up, it's like a a million things run through your mind. You ain't got no peace. If you wake up and a million things run through your mind, you ain't got no peace. See? You ain't got no peace. So if you sold your soul to get any money, if you got to that point, yo, I've been times, I did things like that in my life. You be so fed up with something or going through something and the pressure of something be getting to you so bad, yo. Been there. And it's not funny. And you be like, you know what? I'm going to do this. You make a decision in your mind and you take look at the reality to your in your brain that you're right now it be looking horrible in your mind is always in your mind the battle's always in your mind but in your mind you really be feeling like yo I can't 
can't do it no more. And you go do that more. To, to make everything better. And your mind is the most logical thing to do at that moment. And that's a fact, yo. I'm talking to y'all. To whoever want to hear it. All the people that don't want to hear it. Got their little egos in the way and they act in a certain way or maybe you on cool mode or you on gangster mode or whatever just get out of here like fuck your life get out of here yeah that's what i mean to tell you i hope you felt that because i mean it and that's all you have to do it's so simple okay it's extremely simple but what i'm telling you is Yeah. Peace of mind, that's what it's all about. You do something, you feel like it's the end. You can't take it no more, you do it. And then you realize a little while after how short lived it's gonna be. And it, it ain't worth it. It's only worth it by you. And then, nowadays, when people sell their soul or do something crazy to get some money, they can't even enjoy it because everybody know what they did now. See, back in the days, nobody knew. Back in the days, nobody knew you sold your soul. That's the caption. Back in the days... Nobody knew you sold your soul. You got to, you know, even though you was you was crying inside about what you did, or however you got your money, you was crying inside. But uh, to the world, the world was loving you. The world was looking at you as being special. You was a special type of person. You, you had God, something God did for you, and you was a real special person. So you enjoyed it. At least you enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. the treatment from the world. You was enjoying it while you was crying inside. Nobody knew, and that was painful. Yeah, and that's a real painful thing. To be extremely painful. This is why you see a lot of superstars and rock stars was soup be commit suicide. Remember that? A lot of people was committing suicide and stuff because you did, and you and everybody outside would be like, "Why would they do that? They had everything." Remember that? Remember those stories? Why would they do that? They had everything in the world. I know y'all remember that. And then what happened was people started to know what's going on. And then people started to, it was phases of this stuff. And then it was started, people started being like, oh, they're not special. People started looking at people like they're not that special. Like, oh, you wasn't special? I thought you were special. And it wasn't stay special, it's something they did. Then it evolved to everybody actually knowing and people telling what was going on. You know, I sold my soul when this is what happened. This and that and third. Remember, it got to that phase. Then, it fast forward to now, everybody knows what you did. So because of that, listen up, buddy. I'm talking that talk. Because of that, Nowadays, when people sell their soul or they do something to get money in the industry or something, they don't enjoy it. You can't enjoy it because it's not like before. Before, you used to can enjoy it because nobody knew. So only you was living in the hell. Now, you're living in the hell in your brain because of what you did. And the public is throwing darts at you and bottles and, and, and rocks and shit. Like, you know, all type of stuff they're throwing at you. Bad words, constantly verbalizing you, telling you what you did. So now, it's worse. 
because you don't even get to enjoy it in the beginning, even though it's short-lived. See, before it was short-lived, but you did enjoy it in the beginning. Then your life was over or whatever happened, and then you're sad. Now, you don't got no enjoyment time. You're just getting beat up all the way through. You're getting beat up all the way through because everybody know what you did. And then it's over in 15 minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> so anytime you see somebody like me or somebody's a full, whole, wholesome, peace of mind, living and all that stuff, you don't like them. By default, you don't like them. You don't like him. He's chilling. In real life. Don't let people front on you. It's not like that regular, regular feeling. Go to the block, talk to somebody, talk to your hobby, talk whatever, just regular life. Regular stuff, you ain't, you know, you, you, you know, you, you, you real, you, it's, it's amazing. Get out of here, nobody got time for energy for all that shit. You get old real quick, you get old real quick doing that. You know, and that's what I want to share with you. A lot of bozo stuff, a lot of crashing and burning, uh, a lot of anger because of what they people what people did in their life. Remember, hurt people hurt people. You know what I'm saying? Hurt people hurt people. That's just the way it is, man. You know? But uh I all I could tell you is if I love you, don't take it lightly.